Hello, everybody. Back to work I go. On my usual four days, Thursday through Sunday. And Don is out there snow blowing the driveway. So at least I'll be able to get the car out. Yes? Sammy? Yeah, everything's yours, isn't it? And Tug's relaxing as always. Right? Well, everybody, I've already been outside once earlier. Uh, come out, got most of the driveway cleaned up. But between the perch and the car, I did not get cleaned up yet. But, yeah, between the perch there, down and through here, not all cleaned up. Or the side of the car. But I come out to get the car started up and cleaned off for Tennille. And get it turned around for her. So that way she could leave for work. Um, but yeah, she's got to leave in about 10 minutes. So I want to get this all done up for her and shit. So that way she don't have to do it. I gotta get the ice scraper and brush to clean off the car. But, yeah, she, you know, it's something I do for her quite off, not all the time, but I do clean off for her and shit, so do it quite often for her. Not all the time, but I just do it just to try and help her out, so that way, just one last thing that she has to worry about before she heads off to work. So that way she don't run late and shit like that. And you know, makes it a little bit nicer for her if I do something like this for her. But, yeah, the, when I was out here cutting wood yesterday, you can see, well, you might not, but I sprayed some sawdust on the hood of her car with a chainsaw. But, that's all right. It ain't gonna hurt it none. But, yeah, and there's, well, let it focus a little better here. Got the driveway cleaned up. Um, that took me a little bit to do, not too long, but it's cleaned up anyways. So that way, I don't have to keep on climbing through a bunch of deep snow with the car. Eventually, when it builds up enough, I end up getting stuck, so. And I don't wanna get stuck. It's worth the uh, time of taking, well it depends on, your on the side of your driveway too, we've got kind of a long one here, but we're using Mini Me Wannabe right there, that little snow blower, I call it Mini Me Wannabe because that fucker is small, but it works, um, took less than an hour to clean up the driveway with it, but it's done and I got this side of the car, car here cleaned up with it, but Hey, whatever, it works, so um, I gotta go out and clean up in front of my mailbox yet, shit like that, but at least the driveway is done, so doing the last little bit ain't gonna take a whole lot, but um, here in a second I'm gonna have to let you guys go to where I can use the other end of the ice scraper here, clean off the ice off the windshield. Um, not a big fan of winter time, but hey, what can you do about it when you live where it snows? I'd like to live somewhere where it don't, but kind of hard just for me to just up and leave, so I'll let you guys go for now. Okay, well, there goes Tonelli. <laughs> right, there she goes, heading off to work. Um... Yeah, as you see, I just got to clean up here in front of the mailbox. The driveway is all cleaned up, all the way up to where the front of her car was. Basically, 
well, to the behind it, and then along the one side. But at least the driveway's done. One less thing to have to worry about. So I still got to feed the feed and water the outside animals yet. But I wanted to get the driveway cleaned up first before Tennille had to leave for work. Because, well, as you guys see, as you see how deep the snow was. Almost, you know, like halfway up my leg. Well, between my bottom of my foot and my knee anyways, like halfway up. But, yeah, her car was still walking through the shit, but... Like I said, you get too much of that, eventually you'll get stuck. But yeah, I just got this in through this little strip right here, that right there, and up to the door. Left to clean up. But see, the rabbit still has food, but she's just gonna need fresh water, and then it's just basically go out and feed the chickens and give them fresh water too because I won't, I've only been giving them enough food for one day instead of giving them a two-day supply but don't matter if I give them a two-day supply with food down or not I still have to go out and check on them because they water and collect eggs uh, we haven't been collecting that many eggs from them because it's hard to get them to lay eggs during the winter time but we do collect, still collect some eggs during the winter um, other than that, I'll let you guys go for now. I'm going to stay in here and finish smoking my cigarette before I go in. I'm going to relax some more. And then when I do come back out, I'm going to feed the animals. And I want to get um, some more wood cut up. Finish cleaning up the snow. Do all that happy outdoor shit that you have to do during the winter. But animals, it don't matter if it's winter or not. You have to deal with them uh, year round when you got them. But other than that, there is my gold mine that's been sitting around the yard for years. Not done yet. Close to it. Just break work left on it and that's it. But it's just break lines for that though. And that'll be roadworthy again. So um, I'm going to finish that up next summer. We're not hurting for it because we've got Tenille's car. But we're not going to get rid of that one just because we want to save it for a backup vehicle for when her car does take a serious shit. But there ain't nothing wrong with her car, so look like we'll be driving that around for quite a while because when something does go wrong with it, we fix it. So um, her car's got well over 200,000 miles on it, but still running strong and doing good, and that's all that matters. Okay, everybody. Um, Three, take three on this. I've been pushing the record button and wasn't wanting to record, but now it is. Um, as you guys seen, I got the driveway all cleaned up with the snow, and I cleaned Tennille's car off, backed the car out of the driveway for her, because she, she can back up, but down this driveway she has a rough time during the winter time doing it. But... Um, yeah, all the outside chores are all done, except for shoveling up by the mailbox. I'm going to be doing that here in a little bit. It is dark out. It's 7.40 right now, but got wood cut up, got the wood brought in. And there's what I got brought in for wood right now. There is some big chunks of wood in here, if you look. Like this chunk here is big. This chunk here. This one here. You know, there's some big chunks scattered, you know, mixed in through the load that's in here. Um, it's close to a half a quart of firewood right here. But tomorrow I am going to cut up some more wood and get this that way it's cut up. And I would like to mound up the wood box a little bit to where it will equal a half a quart of firewood. And by the time I fill up the wood stove for the night, by the time we go to bed and stuff, it'll eat up about three armloads of that wood because it takes approximately two and a half to three armloads of firewood depending on how big your armloads that you bring in are and we're gonna have leftover turkey tonight I'll have to make up some side dishes to go along with it right now since uh, pulling out anything else for uh, meat 
meat to cook up for dinner tonight. You guys know that we cooked up the turkey yesterday. That's definitely a few meals worth worth of uh, food rate, you know, meat products for us right now. But I am in the process of watching The Walking Dead still. Right now I'm relaxing from doing all the outside chores. Um, because cleaning up the driveway and between bringing in the firewood, it wasn't so much cutting up the firewood that that got, you know, that wore me out. It was just more along the line of carrying it all in and cleaning up the driveway. Because we do have kind of a long driveway, so it definitely takes quite a bit of effort and it takes a little bit out of you cleaning that up. And then, of course, dealing with wood that takes a little bit out of you too. It's not like I said, it's not so much cutting it up, it's just carrying it in. But as for that, I'm going to let you guys go. Don't got much really anything else to say at this time. And Tenille's, of course, still at work, so um, she'll be done with work around 11. Be home probably, depending on the roads, probably like a little, little after 11.30. But she's got to take one of her co-workers home again. As usual, it's starting to think that's going to become a uh, quite of a routine of you know having to take one of our co-workers home. So, but I'm going to watch some more Walking Dead. Talk to you later. Well, I was just outside, guys. Um, well, probably about 15 minutes ago, I was outside. I've uh, got it cleaned out in front of my mailbox, so all my snow snow cleanup is all done, and it is. 11.40 right now, um, Tenille should be home any time now, like I said she had to take one of her co-workers home so she'd be running a few more minutes behind because Tenille's got to go out of her way to be able to take th that person home and as all I know is it's pretty damn cold out there but other than that it's a beautiful night, nice and bright out there, you can see the moon nice and, nice and clear, you can see a few stars. Sure, it might have been cold, but there was brisk and smelt good and fresh, and it was just really nice going out there and cleaning up that last little bit of snow. Just because then I got a bunch of fresh air today because of all the outdoor work I did. Well, not necessarily work; it's chores that I got to do. But I didn't do really do any dishes. I done up a couple of them, but that's about it. We're getting a nice pile of them going. Which I'll get those done up tomorrow at some point in time. Today my biggest thing was wanting to get the snow cleaned up out of the driveway and clean off the porch, get the salt on the porch and all that, and deal with getting the wood in so that way I could have a nice big huge pile of wood here in the house and not have to worry about that. I'll probably cut up a little bit more wood tomorrow to retop the wood box off to mound it up some but other than that it was a beautiful night out tonight besides it was chilly so now I'm home and I gave Christine a ride home again and the way that she pays me is in these because she closes the little store and I close the big store and the little store is the only one that has these left there's a shortage on these and this is the only one I can drink because there's only 94 calories per can and not a bunch of sugar either. What did you do all night? Besides pile up 500 thing, big things of wood. Oh, you think so? Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of that shit. I know, I could tell. Maybe I ought to breed with a pile and maybe it'll just keep on growing as we use it. That way it's like... We, we never touched it. Well, you'll have to keep refilling it. Here's a lazy black kitty. Finally starting to get shot dust again. Yeah, all over the floor. But anyway, my next installment of blades came from Dollar Shave Club, so that's good. I do want to keep it. I really like the way that razor shaves, so it's a lot better than the piece of junk I bought from Walmart. And then <clears throat> I finally got this in the mail 
from it's a Christmas present from Melenia. She's one of our subscribers. So thank you very much, Melenia. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Melina, Melenia. Well, anyway, thank you very much. I wanted this because I've seen some other YouTube videos on it. And it is exactly what it says. Like here's waterfall and wizard staff and then you skip in and there's flashlight, water bottle, hat, raincoat. I'll skip even further in there. We've got <laughs> curtains and tripod and sunglasses and bow tie. Those are all basic ones. A tractor, something sticky, slime, footprints, archer, sand dune, island paradise, you know, and it just goes on and on. There's 500 of them. Bow and arrow, gallery, radio. I have not been drawing enough lately, and I discovered this book existed. There's a 300 version and a 500 version. I decided to get the 500 version, and it can uh, get me drawing, because I have not been drawing enough. Computer keyboard, chess pieces, so that'll be really cool, and I'll show you guys every drawing I do in it. I'll probably start drawing in it on Monday, so that'll be really cool. But we're going to say good night, and we hope you enjoyed the video, and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Good morning. Okay. I got press pieces, too. You have what? <laughs> Breast pieces? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good night, Sammy. Well, you, well, you said chest pieces. I you said chest pieces. <laughs> yeah, and I said, I got breast pieces. Oh. As in chest pieces? Yeah, I got breast pieces. I didn't say chest with a T. I said chess. chess. Yeah. As in the game. <laughs> yeah, and I said, I got breast pieces. Oh. But, of course, you've never been perverted, so uh. you wouldn't know nothing about that. Good night, Tog. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.